Hello everyone, today let us learn how to create the realistic thread on the spindle which I discussed in the last video, the, the continuation of the last video. So in the last video we had applied cosmetic thread. So in this video let us learn how to apply square thread. Similarly how to create knurling on the screw spindle. Similarly how to create knurling on Tommy bar. So this is the realistic part. This will be very helpful in uh, 3D printing the component. If you want to 3D print this component. So this option is must. Next comes the reading of the square thread profile. As you can see here, it is of square 38 mm diameter and 7 mm is the pitch. So the pitch is the distance of, this is the crust part, this is the root part, two consecutive points. So you can see from here to here, the distance is pitch. They have given in the question, it is 7 mm. So half of it will give me 3.5 mm. So this is the depth of the thread, which is 0.5 into 7, that is 3.5 mm. So 3.5 mm will be the depth. Similarly, from here to here it is 3.5 mm. So the entire length of the pitch is 7 mm. By this introduction, let us go to SolidWorks. Open SolidWorks, click on open. Open the file which you have said earlier. So let me go to screw spindle, open it. So here already I have applied the cosmetic thread. Let me remove that cosmetic thread. So as you can see here, it is available inside the revolve option. Right click, delete. So the cosmetic thread will be removed, right? Now let me create the realistic thread on this profile. So as you can see here, we have an option called threads inside whole wizard. So if you click on thread option, the problem here is the type of thread which are available. As you can see here, square thread option is not available. Only you can see the inch or metric die. So we will try to create the thread profile of square and we try to apply it. How do I create a square thread is? Let me come out of thread option. Go to open. Now here C drive, inside C drive, type program data. Normally this folder will be hidden. SolidWorks, SolidWorks 2020, thread profiles. So these are the profiles which were visible inside the thread option. Now let us create a profile of square thread. So how do I do that is select this metric die, control C, that means copy, paste it in the same location. So control V stands for paste. So I have copied and I have pasted here and I'll give the name as square thread. And I'll give the name as square thread. Now let me open this square thread profile, select it, say open. This is the metric thread profile. We will change the profile to square thread. How do I do that is right click on the thread profile, edit sketch, normal to delete all the dimensions. Delete all the dimensions. Now this distance will define the overall length that is pitch P then this distance will define the height of each thread. Then comes the depth that is 3.5. Okay. So by doing this, we have defined it. Delete this line not required to constrain this. As you can see here, it can move up and down. So what I can do is I'll select this thread, select this line, make it equal. Now select this, select this, make it horizontal. Now it is completely constrained. I'll repeat it. This dimension is 3.5. This dimension is 7. And this dimension is 3.5. So this is how we will modify the profile now. So let me come out of the sketch. And let me change the name of the sketch. That is the configurations. As you can see here, go to configuration manager. Right now it is showing M 1.2 into 0.25 but it is not 1.2 it is 7 mm so what i will do is right click on this and go to properties here i can change the configuration name so it is not metric thread so you can name it as sq for 38 mm i have it is 7 mm 
38 into 7. So let me copy this and let me paste it here. Control C, Control V. So as you can see the configuration name, just select our document name and configuration name. It will get updated. Click OK. So once you say OK, you can say rescue 38 into 7. This is the configuration which will be using for the screw spindle. Now let me save this file. Let me close this file. Now let me go to thread now. So when you go to thread, now you'll be able to see the square thread, which was not available earlier. Now it is available. Select square thread. Now in this square thread, we have created SQ. SQ 38 into 7. Select this. So select this portion. As you can see here, this is the one. Now comes the length. So the length is 154 mm. Now as soon as you type 154 mm, it has been created. But you can see here the starting point is somewhere. So we need to give an offset here. So go to offset. Give the offset distance as 3.5 mm. So the direction is in the opposite direction. Now you can see here we have given the direction here 3.5 mm. Let me say control 1. This is how it is. Now when I gave 154, it went on to the top. Let me not give the offset and let me check here. You can see here it has gone above this means what? It has added 3.5 mm excess of what was desired. Why? Because of the starting position. Okay. So once you give offset distance, now you can observe the starting location will be here, the ending will be here. So then comes square thread. You can see 38 into 7. Everything is perfect. Now let me click on OK. So once you click on OK, you can see here at the tip of the thread. It's perfect. Not any problem. Control 1. Now you can apply the appearance. You can go to metal, steel. Let me apply brushed steel. Okay. So as you can see clearly, the square thread has been created. So now you can 3D print the object. You can apply a chamfer at the end. So by giving a 1 or 2 mm 45 degree, and the square thread will be ready. So this is how square thread can be created in SOLIDWORKS. Now let me move on to how do I create knurling. For that we need to learn two more options that I will teach you. First create a plane at the surface. So how do I create the plane at the surfaces? Go to reference geometry, plane, select the circle, click OK. So a plane has been created. Now let me use this plane for the sketch. Sketch. Go to convert entities. Just click on this edge. Click OK. So a circle will be created. Now we go to exit sketch. Select the same sketch. Go to helix and spiral. So once you do that, now you can see it is moving in the opposite direction. You can always change the direction. But I will use height and pitch value. Reverse the direction. As you can see now it will come down. So control 1 will give you the front view. It is starting somewhere here. I want to start it here exactly. So let me give 0 degree. Let me give 0 degree. You can see here 0 degree will start here. So if I give a 90, 180, 270. So I will give 270 degree. Now you can see here it has started here. And it is coming in the other direction. Right. If you want you can start here as well as here. Why? Because the profile will be drawn here. It will be easy for you to cut. Okay, now it has come around in this direction, not a problem. Now the start angle has been defined. You can say counterclockwise or clockwise, doesn't matter. Now comes the height and the pitch value. The height is 50 mm, type 50. Now you can see here it will end exactly on this edge, right? Control 1, Control 7. I think the pitch value is too less. Let me give more value. Let me give 250. Control 1. Okay. So 250 mm will be here. Let me give 200. Let it be in the middle. Okay. Give 200. So we can just try few values. So we'll get this as the starting point. That is 270 degrees is the starting angle. 
and exactly 10 here by giving the pitch distance as 200 as well as the height from here to here is 50 mm. So all these values have given now, I'll just say okay. So now this path has been created, the profile that is along which I should cut the triangle that has been created. Now let me create a sketch exactly as at this location. How do I do that is once again right click on this plane, say sketch. Okay, now let me create a small triangle here. So go to polygon, number of sides is 3. So here exactly along the axis create a triangle. You can create 1.6 mm or you can create 2 mm. 2 mm. Make sure it is vertical. Okay, now it is completely constrained. Exit the sketch. So now the profile is ready, the path is ready. Now we will use swept cut. Okay, so click on swept cut. Here you can see here profile is the first option. Select the small triangle which we have drawn now. Select the second one path. This is this path around which you click cut. Okay, click OK. Now you can see the material has been removed. The material has been removed. Now I will use a circular sketch pattern to create an array of this. How do I do that is I can go to circular sketch pattern. Circular sketch pattern direction. Select any cylinder the direction equispacing and this number of elements will be more initially give less and keep increasing the value. So in order to select this you can directly use a design tree. Select this you can see now it is showing the preview. So more number of elements are required. So if you want, you can give just 50 and just check. Okay, click OK. Now you can see, so it has been created. Now let me switch off this plane, go to hide. Even let me switch off this elix, hide it. Okay, now you can see it has been created. Now let me create on the other side. How do I do that? Once again, go to mirror option. Where is the mirror option? Here is a mirror option. Click on the mirror. Mirroring plane. Mirroring plane. You can select the front plane as your mirroring plane. Features to mirror. Select the circular pattern to click OK. So once you click OK, it takes, uh, I think, some time. It takes some time to generate all swept cut portion. Now you can see now this is ready. Now still you can reduce the distance, right? Since it is time consuming, I have given a lesser value. If you want, you can increase the number of values. So basically it is used to only to grip the screw spindle. So how do I do that? Once again, I can go to circular uh, pattern, right click, edit feature. Here I can increase the value. Instead of 50, I can give 60 and 70. Similarly, the same thing will be mirrored. Okay, so this is how knurling can be created in SolidWorks. Here, let me save this file. Control S, save. Same thing can be done for Tommy Bar also. So let me go to Tommy Bar file, open, desktop, Tommy Bar, open. Okay, this is a Tommy Bar. So go to reference geometry, plane. Uh, Select the right plane. From here, the distance is 175 mm. 175 mm. Click OK. This is where the knurling will start in the sketch or in the drawing. So this plane, I will use it as a sketch plane to create the sketch. What kind of sketch I should create? Circle. Because on that circle, I need to have an ellipse. So I can go to directly convert entities, select this circular edge, click OK. Circle will be created. Exit the sketch. So next, what I can do is Control 1, Control 3, Control 4. Okay. Here I'll be drawing the triangle. Once again, select the plane, sketch. Go to polygon, number of sides is 3. Select this as a center, draw a triangle, select the edge, horizontal, smart dimension, this as 2mm. Done. So select this, select this, make it vertical so that it will not move. Exit sketch. Now 
a circle where the triangle has been created. I didn't create the ellipse. Now I can select the sketch here and I can go to curves, legs, right? Now it will ask pitch and revolution, select height and pitch. The height is 100 mm, right? The pitch value, give it as 150. Okay. 150 or 200. Okay. Or more than that. Two fifty as a pitch value. Control one. Okay. Right. So the pitch value I went two fifty. Height is this. Let me start at this angle. Let me shift that into ninety degree. Now you can see the start will be exactly at this location. Click OK. I have created the spiral as well as the profile. Now go to swept cut. Swept cut. Select the profile that is a triangle select the profile now that is the spiral click ok now it has been cut now go to select the swept cut go to circular sketch pattern go to circular sketch pattern see feature has been added automatically select this give around 20 and check or even less initially to start give less because it might consume more time then go to mirror entities circular sketch pattern mirroring is front plane click ok it takes some time okay now it has been created and the distance is too less now you can keep increasing the distance now that is go to circular sketch pattern now instead of 15 give 20 so automatically that circular pattern as well as the mirror both will get updated. Clear? Still if you are not happy with the LX you can always change it by decreasing this value to 150. Let me check how it appears. Click OK. Um, this looks much better. Control 1, Control 5, 7. Right? Still, if you want to decrease it, you can decrease it. Edit feature, make it 200. Okay, click OK. So, it takes some time for processing all the faces as well as the edges. Now, you can hide the spiral. You can hide the plane which you have created. Now this is ready for 3D printing. So this is how uh, the threads can be, square threads can be done as well as knurling can be done in SOLIDWORKS. So go to metal, steel, and select matte finish. So, so this completes the 3D printing part. Okay. Let me save this. Open nut. Delete the tap hole. Delete. Yes. Now right click on the sketch. Normal to circle. Since they are pitch of 7, so on both the sides I should leave 3.5, 3.5. So the diameter will become 31 mm. So there should be more material present. 31. Exit sketch. Select the sketch. Extrude cut. Through all. Through all. Click OK. Through all. Click OK. Now we'll go to thread wizard. That is inside wall wizard. We have thread. Thread location is this. Right. Now very importantly, you should select square thread. Square thread, as you can see, it is moving inside. I want outside. You can change the diameter. You overwrite the diameter to 38. Overwrite the diameter to 38. Now comes the distance. So, as you can see here, very important is the starting point. So, you should give the offset so that it crosses above. Thing. So, you can see here. From here, it starts and it goes beyond that. So, you can give 50, 52. Not a problem. Okay, give 50, 52. So this is the specifications, click OK. 
So once you click OK, square thread has been created. So this nut will engage with the screw spindle once it is uh, 3D printed. So you can 3D print this component and you can show the working of screw jack. So appearance, steel, steel, okay. So now you can see the nut. Hmm. So this completes today's exercise that is numbing and square thread. So if you have any doubts, any questions, you can post it in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching.